so hi everyone open ai has just released gpt o1 which is taken as a subsidiary for gpt5 and it has beaten gpt4 o by huge margins on almost all the dimension so in this video we will be testing out what are the different metrics considered and by what margin it has improved so starting off with a complicated problem solving for which it is becoming popular starting off with mathematical olympiad that is aime so aime is one of the most prestigious mathematical olympiad in usa here you can see that gpt 40 has scored an accuracy of 13.4 while o1 is giving a result of 83.3 this is just unimaginable going to code forces code forces is basically a coding platform so coding competition as you can see gpt 4 percentile is 11.0 very low while in case of 01 that is the o1 model the percentile is 89 it's humongous now we all mocked mira murathi for the phd level intelligence the code that she said but once on evaluation on gp qa diamond data set so it is a very complicated data set around chemistry biology and physics gpt 40 was scoring 56.1 and o1 is scoring 78.3 highest o1 preview now as a matter of fact expert human scores 69.7 on that data set so this is just amazing to be honest it has outperformed human on this particular data set and it is one of the most complicated data sets uh, what i read about gpq with diamond now looking on to other benchmarks as you can see on the screen pass at the rate one accuracy if i wish to say is the results that are generated in the first attempt what was the accuracy for that So here you can see that for maths, maths Vista, MMU, MMLU. So these are all data sets and problem ML benchmarks. Uh, for GPT 4O, the accuracy, the blue bar is the pass at the rate one accuracy, 60, 63.8, 69.1, 88. Now just see the jump in the mathematical ability that has improved, 94.8 for O1. In case of PhD level science questions on GPQ data diamond data set. doing a further bifurcation on chemistry physics and biology here you can see that for chemistry for 40 it was 40 59 61 9 in case of chemistry physics and biology it has improved to 64.7 physics it has improved massively 92.8 and biology it is 69.2 and in a huge increase in physics does make sense because they are promoting it to be a complex problem solver and i think physics compared to chemistry and biology is a little complicated is more logical now going to exams ap english language ap physics ap english everywhere you can see a red mark that has increased from the blue mark so apart from ap english lang which was almost same for both the models here you can see that in on the other aspects including sat and lsat it has improved so 92.8 to 94 76 to 89 69 to 95 on lsat so that's amazing almost all the exams the results have improved and on mmlu category so mmlu is basically a multi task data set which has their tasks around almost all the categories here you can see the different categories college chemistry college maths professional law public relations so it includes diverse topics not just technical or not just uh, economics so almost and most of the topics are covered so here you can see that on almost all the topics the red bar is more than the blue bar blue bar is basically gpt 40 and the red bar is the gpt o1 model so here you can see that as they have mentioned out of 57 categories in mmlu data set on 54 gpt o1 has outperformed gpt 4 not talking about a further bifurcation for the code forces data that was given so code forces you get two things one is the elu that is sort of a rating on the platform and percentile score where do you stand amongst all the people on the platform so for gpt 40 the rating was 808 and the percentile score was very low 11th now in case of o1 the rating has just doubled up 1600 and the percentile score is just massive 89 and for a new model o1 ioi which they haven't mentioned much on the entire blog post the rating has further improved to 1800 and the percentile score is 93 so it's humongous now here comes a catch so one of the evaluation criteria was also where people requires innovation uh, so here you can see that this was a graph which they have plotted comparing the humans uh, gave a preference to which model for which category so it was a test that did 
so here you can see that the, for the first two categories which requires a, a lot of creativity personal writing and editing text gpt4 o was given a higher uh, preference because the take it to be 100 so assume this bar to be completely 100 the orange line is for gpt o1 so if it is below this particular dotted line this means that gpt4 o was preferred over the o1 model else vice versa in case of editing text it's almost 50 50 preference but in case of computational program uh, computer programming data analysis and mathematical calculation as you can see gpt01 has just outperformed gpt40 so as you can bifurcate as they have also mentioned they have realized that the gpt01 model is good for more complicated tasks it is not that creative as you can see on personal writing it was less preferred compared to gpt40 but on mathematical tasks on complicated stuff it is any day preferred more than gpt40 now talking about some safety metrics so percentage of safe completion on harmful prompt so if you are giving a harmful prompt what is the output coming so o1 preview has given a better score as compared to 40 0 0.995 here it has outperformed by a big margin jailbreak and edge cases so in my previous video also i've mentioned o1 has outperformed gpt4 on jailbreaking case so now it is more robust to be honest in case of violent or criminal harassments the early completion percentage of 0.84 not 0.9 see this one illegal sexual content 0.48 now the improvement is 0.9 it has doubled up for percentage of safe completion so in all if you summarize all these numbers all these metrics that i'm showing you it is more robust now it is more guard rail and it is more safe to use gpt01 compared to gpt40 on a comparison note so with this we would be concluding this comparison i think we saw its capabilities o1 is looking amazing especially for complex problems and if you are in research in healthcare i think this can be a real big boon for you uh yeah it is not that good with the creative task like editing text or like writing a new paragraph as was shown in the study but i still feel i think it was not that bad also because the numbers were just 19 20 not a major difference so i think o1 is worth giving a try and i hope you soon give it a try thank you so much